Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is the Forex market analysis for the week beginning May 17, 2010. Okay, that out of the way, I'm going to show you there are really two charts that are going to matter more than any of the others, and they are euro related. The one you're looking at right now is euro dollar. This is the weekly time frame, and the reason why this is so important is that we are already extremely, extraordinarily massively close to where our um, low was in euro dollar um, all the way back in November and December the the November time frame of 2008. I want you to think of something and and understand something in November of 2008 we were at the height of the global financial crisis and everybody was in a gigantic panic. Despite that, the low was 1.2329 and there was a lot of very serious discussion about the euro and the dollar reaching parity once again, something that it hadn't done for years previous. Now, here's why this is so important. We are now, the close on Friday was 1.2381 and Number one, I'm expecting some consolidation to occur, at least on Monday, some upward bounce. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see a gap to the long side in euro dollar. However, if we breach the low from November of 2008, then we can probably expect to see downside acceleration. And I will not be too terribly surprised to see euro dollar reach parity unless Eurozone does something somewhat drastic to prevent it. Now, here's the thing. I'm actually expecting the Eurozone to do something somewhat drastic because this slide in, um, in strength in the Euro is causing a lot of panic in the Eurozone. While a lot of the Eurozone ministers, you know, like Trichet, who's the chairman of the uh, European Central Bank, while these guys want a weak euro, they don't want a panicky weak euro. And that's what we have right now. They are going to have to do something to shore it up. I am expecting that occur to occur this week. My point is that you need to be very careful with short positions in the euro right now. Let's have a look at euro yen. This is euro yen on the daily chart. Now with euro yen, we do have a little bit more downside here to, to fall before we've got to really start worrying about panicky sort of reactions. However, if we flip this thing back to the weekly chart and we start looking again, we, here we are one more time. We're starting to look at time frames that are right around global financial crisis period. My point is, is that no matter which chart you're looking at, we've, we're really kind of getting close to where bottoms should be, at least as far as the euro goes. So you, like I said, be very careful with short positions in euro dollar and euro yen, because when the eurozone starts to act, they're likely to act very, very aggressively, which is going to cause, which may cause a, a spike. We could see Euro strengthen somewhat rapidly. Let's come back here to Euro dollar. And in fact, we kind of saw this happen. We came down in, uh, in uh, November of 2008, we hit a bottom and you can see this gigantic spiking of activity all the way through the rest of 2008. And then in 2009, wham, Euro just shot through the roof before kind of collapsing again. I'm expecting to see this same pattern repeat itself. And more likely than not, this pattern is going to start starting this week. Trading and moving forward on this and how you should um, uh, look to place your position. Number one, I would highly recommend not placing any new euro trades 
until you see what the market does. If the market starts to accelerate to the downside, well then place those short euro positions and and ride it out. Like I said, it is entirely possible we could see euro dollar parity reached. Um, conversely, if you see a strong reaction, a strong intervention by the Eurozone and by the ECB to shore up Euro strength, we can expect to see, wow, a good 1,000 pips of, of upward movement out of, of Euro dollar this week. Now let's really quick talk about the pound. We've seen a lot of weakness out of the pound. And to be honest with you, I am personally expecting to see more weakness in the pound this week. There's a lot of reasons for this. Some of this having to do with everything going on in the Eurozone and all of that other mess. But I would not be at all surprised to see pound dollar go down this week at the same time Euro dollar is probably going to go up. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.